back in the saddle again. I picked up my parents from the Amtrak earlier today, had a nice little ham steak dinner, and I am off back out of town here, getting out of Clovis until I have to come back again. Where am I heading today? Well, ha, I know this is gonna shock you, but I'm heading up to my favorite Love's truck stop for the night. And you know, one thing I've really been thinking of recently is totally spaced on the fact that all these truck stops have reward programs like pretty much everywhere else does, like a Starbucks reward program. You know, Jersey Mike's has a reward program. Subway has a reward program. Well, Love's, pretty sure that uh, Flying J, TA, I'm sure they all have reward programs. So I downloaded the app. I'm gonna pick up a reward card this time when I'm there. And I notice on the website that something like with 50 gallons purchased of gas, you get a free shower. So that's super awesome. I was not aware of this. I will be making very much use of it in the future to come. And I'll be using that Flying J card when I'm out on tour with the band, cruising around in that big old gas guzzling tour bus. It costs hundreds of dollars to fill that thing up and I'm gonna get my rewards where I can save up a whole bunch of showers and you know what I don't know I don't know either I'm asking you do you know what I don't know <laughs> all right off we go back out into the world <laughs> arrived at my usual spot right here next to the love storage RV and boat and the truck stop down that way a couple trucks parked here no big deal well goose how you doing goose well as you can see <laughs> I got a little bit of a project in here I got to deal with. I did all my laundry when I was at my parents' house. Flip all these lights on here so we can see each other. And well, I kind of got lazy and I never put anything away. Still got to make the bed, got to put all my laundry away. So got a little bit of a project before I get settled in here for the night. starting to feel like a home again now put the last bits away everything in its place Woo! gotta turn the fan on here getting warm out I think it was almost 90 today supposed to be getting up uh, in the upper 90s the next couple of days up to almost a hundred here in uh, about two days I think on Wednesday, today's Monday. I think Wednesday is supposed to be almost 199 or so here in the Fresno area. I gotta get out of here. Uh, hopefully Tracy will be a little bit cooler. At least we get those that nice cool air. Hopefully Tracy will be a little cooler. At least we get a nice breeze in the air out there at night. 
pretty much stagnant right now here. So crank up these fans while I put away the rest of my baloney. Now, as if putting the bed together wasn't a big enough pain in my butt, I think Mr. Splinters paid me a visit too in the process here. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Something doing here. I think I got, oh, there it is, got it. Now, earlier I mentioned about the Love's Rewards. Well, I went in there, you gotta go over to the truck side and pick up one of these jobs. And now you can go either online or using the app on the phone here, which is right there. Love's app, open it up, and always obey traffic laws, yes. Get started and then you gotta register your card and start using it, good to go, get the rewards. Apparently they have different tiers. You got uh, the base reward, which 500 gallons or less, one point per gallon, one point per dollar spent, one free credit for shower with every 50 gallons, and one free credit for drink refill with 50 gallons plus. Now, as you move up, you spend more, you get more gas, you get more rewards. Gold tier, platinum tier, at the diamond tier, if you're doing 1,500 gallons a month, you get four points per gallon, four points per dollar spent. Free everyday showers, free everyday refills. Ha <laughs> ha! I am definitely putting this to use. I'm gonna get my money's worth out of love. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, starting to get normalized here. Got a lot of snacks. For some reason, my stepmother decided she wanted to offload a whole lot of pudding. <laughs> Look at this. Got me a nice little snack pack of pudding. Put that over here. What else we got? She gave me some jello. Nice. Some more jello. I'm going to put those on ice because I want those nice and cold. Maybe some of the puddings I'm gonna put on ice as well. What else we got in here? Of course, my favorite. I've been doing quite a thorough investigation, a lot of research going into my days surrounding pork rinds, also known as chicharrones. And by far, this is my favorite right now. Um, it is the brand, I don't even know what it's called, Southern Recipe Small Batch. This is spicy dill flavored, and these are Korean kimchi barbecue. These are so good, both of these. All right, and I got some, just some hamburger buns and stuff in there for later, put all these bags in there. I picked up some ice while I was at the store at Love's. Might as well put some things on the chill. Haven't opened this cooler for a few days. Nothing in it but a couple of waters, so no big deal there. Drop some ice in here. And away we go. Put these snack packs. This is strawberry, and this is strawberry and orange. We'll put those on ice probably later tonight. Get a little sweet tooth, a little hankering for a little something sweet. Mm-mm, good. All right, I think I'm almost at the point here where I can chill and relax, put on a little podcast. I know it's Monday. A couple of my favorite podcasts come out on Monday, one being Bad Friends with Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino, the other being Two Bears, One Cave with Bert Kreischer and Tom Segura. Who knows what else is out there on the interwebs? waiting for me to find it. Watch some cool documentaries this weekend. I really didn't do much at all. I mean, <laughs> I have to say, when I get back into that house mode, I really get super lazy. I just pop my feet up on the recliner, put on Netflix and just let it go. Watch a couple of documentaries, really cool documentary on the Space Shuttle Challenger. I believe it's called Challenger. Pretty easy to find that way. Not just about you know, the horrible crash that happened, but really about the space shuttle program in general. Also watched uh, 
crazy documentary about the Son of Sam killer, the 44 caliber killer, summer of 1977, shooting people in New York City. Well, the documentary is called Sons of Sam, and it's a pretty interesting theory. A man that spent the majority of his adult life researching the case and found a lot of weird stuff going on. And I don't want to spoil the fun of watching it, but <laughs> if what he says is true, everything we've been led to believe about the Son of Sam killings and one man doing it, well, <laughs> That is not accurate, according to this guy, and he's got a lot of proof, and it's pretty interesting. I recommend that. Also, Back to the Future 1, 2, 3 are on Netflix, and those are always fun. I really like Back to the Future 3. Of course, 1's a classic. 2, I kind of got to be in the mood for it. It's got a different vibe to it. Gets a little, I don't know if it's dark or what, but um, I don't know. But 3, I love that. The Western, being out in the West being the using trains to push the time machine to get it up to 88 miles an hour and that train that they used well that was just filmed right up the way here up in the foothills on your way up to sonora or going in the north entrance on highway 120 going into yosemite you're going to pass by jamestown they got a cool train town museum there and well that's where they shot all those train scenes and a lot of back to the future three up there in the foothills so those are my recommendations. If you got nothing better to do with your time, then kill it by watching podcasts or Netflix. And you haven't seen those, I recommend them. I am good to go. My bed's made, my food's away. Just gotta organize a couple little things and I'm gonna call it an evening, you know? I really have missed being in the van and just sitting here talking to y'all just makes me feel like some kind of normalcy. Like I'm back in my element, back where I belong. This is what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I feel that very clearly. And, you know, I'm gonna be going back to work fairly soon. Concerts are gonna be starting up again. And things are gonna change a little bit in my life, but I'm not gonna give up on my van life because my original plan was to have a van, do my job, and when I'm not working, I'm in the van, traveling around, exploring, bringing you folks with me. And I also think when I go on tour, I'm going to bring you folks with me on that so you can see a little bit of a behind the scenes, what it's like on the everyday level, being a cruiseman out there for a touring rock band. And I think that could be kind of fun. Anyways, I'm out. See y'all tomorrow. Who knows where I'll be? All I know is I'll be in my van, and that's all I care about.